Hi, I'm John Fon. I'm a columnist for the Wall Street Journal, but I've also written the book Stealing Elections, How Voter Fraud Threatens Our Democracy. The reason it's, it's important is about 40% of the American people believe that our elections are not fully free and fair. Either people are prevented from voting, or votes are cast by people who are dead, people who are voting twice, or people who shouldn't be voting at all. And I believe if we have 40% of the country believing the elections aren't completely free or fair, we undermine confidence in our democracy. We have two basic civil rights when it comes to voting in this country. Freedom from being intimidated or prevented from voting. We fought a civil rights revolution in the 1960s over that. We need to preserve and extend those gains. But we also have another civil right, the right to be protected against voter fraud. And every American, every American can have their vote diluted or taken away from them if somebody votes in their place. It can be as easily stolen from them as if somebody stood in a polling place door and said, you can't vote. So that's why I've written this book, to alert people to the dangers of voter fraud and how we can clean it up. So many states have made significant progress. Other states are laggards. We need to restore uh, a better system of voting in order to restore confidence in our democracy. Great. Follow-up question. What is your opinion, your considered judgment, on electronic voting machines? Mixed. Uh, I think we need vigilance because often uh, no bid contracts are made and they often go to contract to contractors that are have political pull. Sometimes low bid contracts win and you get cheap machines that break down. I don't believe there's a nationwide conspiracy of stealing votes through electronic voting machines because frankly they're not all coordinated together. You'd have to do it machine by machine. So while we should be vigilant about voter voting fraud in electronic machines, the real voter fraud that occurs in this country is the old fashioned way. It's paper ballots, especially absentee ballots which are cast outside of the jurisdiction and monitoring of election officials.